We love hip hop. Ah, Broski, fam, you're making my workload heavy, nigga. So, apparently, let's go to Flacco's page. I think. I think, I think, I think, I think, you know what? There's a, mm. okay, so basically there's some ghostwriting allegations that are starting to float around again about our guy, Drizzy Drake. Big flute to Poetic Flacco. Let me see if I can find it over on his page. Actually, you know where to go. Let's go to Axe page. Let's go to Ack. A.K. Um, did he post this shit? Don't tell me they didn't post this shit. Wow, you didn't post it? So there's mob ties, and he's trending for this right now. Apparently, thinking about this shit. Um, you- mob ties was written by, did they say, who was it, Friday? Okay, let's just look it up. Not me, Friday Ricky Dread. Friday, um, that singer guy. So video surf. Oh, Vori. What is this? June 2017, Champagne Poppy's house, Vori in the record in their recording. Ooh, x sounds. A resurfaced video of allegedly why did they have to put allegedly in there? Allegedly Vori and OBD at Drake's estate recording in June of 2017 in the middle of the recent speculation of the leaked reference track for Mob Ties with Vori. It leads to people thinking it's Vori, Drake's ghostwriter. Uh oh, spaghetti os. Oh man. Hold on. I don't know where to find this. I know I reposted this shit. <laughs> These niggas, bro. And look at Ack talking about this shit. Jumbotron shit popping word for word. It's Yachty. And I remember saying, nah. Atlanta Studios, yeah. you've all, we've heard Jumbotron shit popping word for word. It's Yachty. And I remember saying, nah, shut mm. up. And I've heard it for a while. They were like, yo, trust me, he's floating around. It's going to leak. So uh, when Metro dropped it, like, I already kind of had an idea about that. But, but I was like, eh, it's Jumbotron shit popping, whatever. But I did hear about that maybe he got some help on Mob Ties. And I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, Mob Ties is a song that I felt that... Hold on, let me just chill one second, yo. Because I know the Joe Button podcast, they're gonna come from my head top. That was Drake with his back against the wall. Mm-hmm. And I was... Kind of let it breathe for a second. Can't just let the shit run, just this willy-nilly. Like, yo, Drake here, right? It, fe- it felt a way. Like, because I, I spent all night looking for it. Like, apparently there was a snippet. It said Vori wrote it. Mm. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Uh, oh, SpaghettiOs. No. <laughs> no. There's a, there's a space is going on right now. I don't know if I'll be able to pop in via. I'm going to go to Keep Six. Solid. Let's go to Keep Six Solid's page here. They might have posted about this. Because they're saying that Vori is the one who wrote this. Oh, and salute to 21 Savage. He popped out. um, Drake popped out with him last night. But we'll get to that on another date. Why is nobody posting this? What are you guys doing? Wow. Salute to everybody over here in Toronto, but I ain't finding this shit on Ooh, oh, no. oh oh no. 
Let's do this. <laughs> okay, he is credited, but he ain't write nothing, nigga. How do you know that, nigga? You got to be careful on Twitter. Holy shit, man. Let's hear this. Uh, sing these niggas. Hey. Sing these bitches. Higher shooter. Higher shooter. You're ready to be bitches. Bah. And I'm on my rich. Uh. I turn out the bitch. Jeez. I turn out the bridge. You didn't want to eat sure. Black push, cause that limo moving fast. Jeez. Watch your homie if he movie on his ass. Bah. In the rocket and that bitch ain't got no tax. Louis bags in exchange for body packs. Yeah. Sticky niggas. Hey. I'm sticky. I wonder if I get a copyright for the beat. Jeez. That wouldn't be right. That wouldn't be right at all. God damn. Me bitches. Sire sugar. Really you bitches. Oh, what it was. You do what it is. I know what the shit's. You do what it is. No, so time. Yeah. I fought with a mob and I got ties. Bro. I'm listening for like the different lyrics. The hooks, I I can accept hooks. Louis bags in exchange for body bags. Yeah. Louis bags in exchange for body bags. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm sticking these bitches. In the rocket and that bitch ain't got no tax. Louis bags in exchange for body packs. Yeah. I bought a shot. I'm sticking these niggas. Hey, I'm sticking these bitches. Hug, hug. Sign your shooter. Hug, hug. Get rid of these bitches. I'm sticking these niggas. That's a different lyric. That's different. That's different. Hey, I'm singing these bitches, huh? I hire a shooter, huh? Huh? Get rid of these bitches, fuck. Too late. Yeah. Yeah. Red bean. Him on his mouth, look like he been drinking Kool Aid. Yeah. See, he didn't use that. Yeah. Told her if she slept up on me, baby girl, now it's too late. Okay. You know what? Let me check on something. Don't listen, yeah, maybe. Bobby Phil Rickles little kids. Exactly, we too old, and that's and that's why that he's just not good enough. Yeah, he's not good enough. Y'all can hear that? I have no problem with him. I just have a problem with because we all in this motherfucker for a reason. It seems we all. Y'all can hear the audio on this. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear the audio in this. What I know a bunch of the rest of y'all niggas do as well. What we have a problem with is a nigga saying he's the best. And then it's proven that you didn't write some of this shit. And what the nigga is right now is Barry Bonds. Nigga, I play baseball. Thumbs up if you can hear the audio because I know Twitter be playing with the audios for these. At the same time, you got more home runs than anybody that ever stepped on a fucking baseball field. But we don't know how many of those are legit because you was pumping that shit in your body. Look at Barry. This is Twitter spaces. Look at Barry. Look at Barry. I don't think that. I don't think steroids. Steroids doesn't help out with hand eye coordination. You know what I'm saying? Steroids. So, so competitive baseball. It does not. What it did is help him get his 40 year old ass out the bed and play 162 games. But, 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 but he was already the best before that. He was a bad motherfucker. Yeah, 30 for 30, that's, that's dude. Arguable. That's 30 arguable. for 30, that's dude. Arguable, yeah, you, how many golden gloves? He, he, I don't think he's very bad. So right now, this is a space. Thank you, Glasses Malone, yeah, having a big debate about this. He could have been the greatest baseball. home run hitter. He wouldn't have been. Maybe they'll let me join. different, right? He was a 5 tool player, bro. So was so was so was Barry Bonds, but that's not the point. Yes, and that's, I, and that's I, why I, Barry never really needed that shit. He never what they but, said. But none of us could prove he ever took it. It's different, right? right. Different. I think we're losing the plot. Yeah, yeah, we losing the plot. I was going to say that we losing it. Y'all got to come back to it. Losing the plot. Hey, G. Glasses. That's he. He's got. I can't most do it. Hits at this point now, he surpassed Mike. Barry got more home runs than anybody else. So he's at that. It's gonna, level. Come, it's gonna mean, mess up the microphone. Most hits. He dashes the past Mike. Bro, let's get okay. up the baseball All right. stuff, man. Let's so, get back so to the baseball. Tootsie slide, Tootsie slide's a hit. No, 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 no. All it's right. a That's number one. Okay, I'm going to leave this. Because if I stay in there too long, I'm going to get requested to jump into the live. 
and uh, they're gonna have me under the fire in there. Holy smokes! Big salute to glasses Malone. He hit me up. He was like, "Yo, fam." Well, he didn't say fam. <laughs> he said, "Join the live." And I was like, "Yo, I'm just about to start my live on um, YouTube right now. Can't do it, bro." Hey, sick of these niggas. Hey, sick of these niggas. Sick of these niggas. Hide some help. Get rid of these niggas. And this is a push a Thanos. <laughs> this is a push a T lover account right there. Oh my gosh. Oh Lord. Hold on. Let me start up a poll here. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> I don't even know what to feel, how to, how to feel about this. Okay, in the midst of everything that's going on over here, obviously Drake is just coming off of a crazy battle with Kendrick Lamar. You know, he's had a lot of allegations levied against him, including the regular, the usual suspects. Oh, you got ghost writers, all this type of stuff, right? Um, what did Kendrick say? Um, it's not 20v1, it's a 1v21. And the ghost writers, right? They always bring up the ghost writers. All right. But what I want to know is now with all of this, because it didn't hurt him before with Meek, but will this hurt Drake? Because Axe said it. You know, um, there's one thing if there's like certain songs like Teenage Fever, um, all that R&B type stuff. If Drake is doing the R&B stuff, and this is something I've always said myself, if Drake is doing the R&B stuff, it's whatever. It's fine. I'm going to try to throw him a little bit of bail. Okay? Just a little bit. When it comes to this melody-driven rap, it's one thing to come up with bars, and I'm going to still stand in... I'm going to stand in where if Drake has, has to deal with somebody on a battle tip or when it has to be a very bar heavy type of thing, this is the job that he can handle. Okay. But when it comes to something that's heavily metal melody driven, like the way that rap is turned these days, he might got to turn to some people and be like, yo, how do I approach this? So I don't sound like an older head. Because to be honest, any of us as rappers, and I'll put myself in there for a second, just for a second. Any of us as rappers can bar down any beat, but not every beat is, is calls for being barred down. You understand what I'm saying? Like if you're a rapper rapper, like who I believe Drake is, he's a rapper rapper, you could put any beat in front of him and he'll probably find a way to rap rap on it. Okay? But now if it comes to I need a melody. I need a way of making this flow. What's in right now? What are the new pop, pop and flow patterns that might be able to be used? He might have to look around and be like, yo, I need a flow from you. I need a flow from you. He might need to, not need the bars that go in with the flow. But I need a, some flows over here. I, niggas is approaching these beats different these days. I don't want to sound crazy just wrapping my head off on any beat that, that you know, Take Keith throws in front of me or Murder Beats or Boy Wonder or whoever, okay? This is my theory. Let me know if y'all rolling with me with that. Or do y'all think that he don't write none of his shit? Because that would be, that's crazy. I don't believe that Drake doesn't write any of his music, or not music, his raps. But I do believe at this point, I got... We got to we got to be realistic. There is some ghostwriters. I'm not going to act like, well no, oh, well that's just one a one off. No, this has been like the fourth time now. So obviously Drake gets some help when it comes to cranking out some of these bars, some of these flow patterns like I said. 
Okay, but I'll throw him some more bail. He also puts out way more than any rapper I've ever seen, especially at this level. Okay, like I, I'm thinking of Styles P, because Styles P puts out a lot of music. There was at one point in time where Styles P was dropping a mixtape like every few months. And Styles is one of those guys who go into the booth and he doesn't write anymore from what I've heard. From what I've heard from a Dave from a Dave East interview. The Styles just goes there in there and just he just floats the ghost. But for you know to be at this level of 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 success to be able to be cranking out this amount of music on such a regular basis, I would imagine that it's hard to do that by yourself, to create this much content by yourself. So I've never been on the train of saying, oh, Drake never, ever, 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 ever has writers involved because of the fact that he puts out hip hop and R&B. So I've always been under the assumption that all that R&B shit is just party next door and whoever else does the R&B stuff over there. Okay. Yeah. He writes a few, maybe R uh, B song here and there, but for the workload that this nigga probably has to, and listen, I'm sounding like super OVO lawyer levels right now, but for the workload that this nigga has in front of him on a daily basis to be able to crank out the music that he's doing and the amount of music that he's doing, I was just thinking, all right, all the R and B shit, y'all niggas handle that. You want me to have a pop hit? Get, just send it over to me. But when it comes to these bars, when it comes to this pen, when I'm getting at these niggas, let me handle that. I got this. These are just my assumptions. <sighs> Is this real? Okay, are we dealing with a real ting here, or are we dealing? Are we being hoodwinked by you know the Kendrick Camp, you know by the the, the Kendrick Moles or the OVO Moles and all that type of stuff that there's a, a legend of going on behind the scenes? Because what they're showing right now, they're saying Vori's not even credited on the song. So if he's not credited, I'm just saying. If the nigga's not credited, maybe this might be false. Okay, maybe he maybe he didn't write this shit. Maybe the maybe this is AI. I'm just saying, gang. I'm not trying to cop no pleas or anything like that. I'm not trying to shoot no bail. But do we have confirmation yet? Hold on. Reavers, if, if I'm pronouncing that right, says, play the Hot 97 freestyle so we can see all the goat work. Well, you know what? Matter of fact, why don't I? They got He got a lot of flack for this Hot 97 freestyle, man. Because they were saying, oh, you're holding up the Blackberry... Come on. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. We could do it real big. Bigger than you ever. How did they get away with that? Yeah. Drake, what's good, my brother? I'm here, man. I'm ready. I remember, I remember listening the last time I listened to one of these flex. Um, what's you good? know, the boy said something. He said, uh, flex, let me touch the city, let them know where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Let's exactly. Go. Can I do that? You want to do that? Can I do, do it, that? man? Oh, Turn his mic up a little bit. Can I, I do his, that? I his mic up. Can I do that? Okay, tell me, yeah. New York, New Jersey. I'm here, Toronto, Canada. Oh. I'm in here. Oh, all the way from. Oh. All the way. The grassy, all uh, the way from. Let me situate this. Yeah, all the way from it. Yeah, I'm telling you. See that right there? They did it on purpose. Why didn't they run the beat, fam? They're trying to throw this nigga off. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, 
Yeah. Right to the black. Oh, oh yeah. Let's you go. know, ah. yeah. Young, I got you. I got you. Look. I say, young money to the young boy dying out. You hear me crying out. You see me riding out. And if your man get the stunt and we'll buy him out. Because we be living with these other rappers lying about. You telling me Drake didn't write that shit? Don't lie to me. Okay? Don't lie to me, gang. Go ahead, lie to me. Did Drake write this freestyle right here? This is a young Drizzy. This is probably like what 21 at the time the nigga's 30 the nigga's 37 now bro holy shit man got me all discombobulated right now y'all telling me this nigga didn't write this shit people said no yo you're an asshole bro <laughs> shit drizzy drake what funk flex uh hot nine seven i'm so far gone yeah I'm just getting started. Here we go. Look. Let's get it. Uh, feeling good, feeling great. How are you, though? Bet you hear my name every single place that you go. Sipping on pink shit, but nah, it ain't nouveau. Slow the F down for your ass is on Pluto. Ooh. Yeah. He wrote this shit, man. Stop playing, gang. Tell me what it do. I belong to the youngest Grammy-nominated crew. My city love me, but I got Toronto haters, too, that sit around and talk about what they'd have done if they were you. Ooh. You better not be talking about us in that bar right there, bro. That was around those times. There was a little bit of tension, but just chill. Yeah, but no, I bought. What? And even if he was, what? Do you, what am I gonna do? Oh, without a fear in sight, club owners give me reasons to appear at night, and just know that I be in the mirror. Like, are you listening? I hope you hear it right. Yeah, I'm in the ass and doing donuts. I will kill the game and never send it my condolence. Taught to never love a chicken, only love the moments. She's going in. Y'all trying to tell me this nigga didn't write this shit? Lie to me. New York City, I can tell the people want it. Uh, you got for me, Flex. Uh, Look at it, yo. Look at the confidence. Are you guys sick in the head, man? Y'all niggas playing, man. Guys, just trying to, y'all just trying to rile me up. You said you're in the Aston Martin. You, you said you're one, in the man. Aston Martin doing donuts. Yeah, I said that. And I'm going to never send my condolence when I kill it. Exactly. Uh, you know what it is? He was nervous as hell. This is when, like, he was just getting around. This would be me right now going back over there into the States and moving around and trying to network my shit. This nigga was literally just networking his shit. Like, yo, this is the first time I'm meeting Flex. Holy. Yeah, get tuned in to the kingpin. Yes, Hot he's like, yo, Flex is right in front of me right now, fam. Yo, Chubbs, yo, he's right there, bro. Fuck, Master. Flex. Now he's got like ten times the money that Flex has, but at that time, this nigga was like, yo, fam, I feel like I'm inside the TV. Ninety-seven. Should I give me something else? Though, something Please, else. Please give on? me something else. Come on, man. I'm ready? Give me something else. Let's uh, up, man. Yeah. Uh. How are they not prepared for this nigga, bro? Get on my gritty. You want me on my gritty? All right. Look. Uh. Look. Uh. New York. Uh. Uh. Check. Let's go, say Drizzy, like man. Say, um, uh. Vacuum materials and shine wheels. What's your life like? This how mine feels. I like my seat back. I like my wine chill. I look good, smell better, and I rhyme ill. I say I'm at these girls neck and head. You and your girl sleep in separate beds. And yeah. He probably got pits right now. You know what I'm talking about? You got little pits. Shit, man. I'm in front of you. Oh, the whole world. Oh, my God. One take, please. One take. I guess started, but I'd rather get a check instead. I killed this self flex, it's dead. You got birthday cake, mine's wet and tall. You're gonna tell me this nigga didn't write this shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> King of Pop says, I go harder than that though. <laughs> Yo, than that? Yo, this is an old rap, fam. Don't do that, bro. Bro, um, Yolanda Richardson says, listen, Drake is good. Friday, stop thinking everyone in the United States is with T.I.K. Okay, right. <laughs> this is not a K-Dot thing anymore, all right? 
We have old old things to deal with when it comes to this whole ghostwriting allegations. Oh, damn, bro. Y'all lemon small, y'all never ball. I get the girl your yeah, dreams and I never call. And why I got it, I'm about whatever, y'all. Yeah, 40 hit my interviews, tone it down. This nigga wrote, if you need to start doing interviews again. This nigga wrote this shit on the way there. I'm at your girl condo getting shown around. Yeah, why you taking everything personal? This that in your face, all offensive on purpose flow. Ooh. My city never effing need me. Yeah, oh wait, no, they really need me. Uh -huh. Oh wait, hold up, young effing Wheezy. Holla at me when you done effing Wheezy. <sighs> Yo, <laughs> some of this shit did not age well. The nigga said, holler at me when you're done effing Wheezy. Ah, oh, then he effed Wheezy's girl. Ah. Oh. to Drake, man. <laughs> Yo, he's having a hard freaking time, man. Yo, I can't believe they're back on this guy's head, man. This is aggravating my soul, man. <clears throat> I gotta get off of this, man. This is just, just like actually just aggravating my head, man. Oh, what do y'all think, gang? I'm gonna ask again. I have the poll here saying. Will this hurt Drake? 44% says yes. 56% says no. Yeah. I feel that the people who really, at this point, and it's always been this way, because we've seen last time when this happened with the whole Meek Mill shit, Drake's core audience, like the niggas who come for Drake in the comments or who, um, who are like Drake? Yo, you listen. Yo, Drake's whack. Yo, yo, he got ghostwriters anyway. Y'all niggas don't listen to him anyway. So you can call him the, you know, the acceptor of ghostwriting raps all you want. You don't listen to him, so it doesn't matter. You never put on his music. You you you're subjected to his music when you're outside at a club or something like that. That wouldn't have been your choice of song for the DJ to play. Okay, before the Kendrick beef, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about before that. The niggas who are on his head top, like, oh, you got ghost, that nigga got ghostwriters anyway. These niggas don't listen to Drake. So the people who actually do listen to Drake, in the end of the day, they don't care. This is evident when it came to the Meek Mill shit. Because when everybody exposed the... Um, what was it that came out at those at those times? The hundred bands. There was another one that came out. Um, it was hundred bands. There was another song off of the. If you're reading this, it's too late. And then something that came off of the uh, nothing was the same album. All right, so three songs got leaked at that time. People thought about two, but there was actually three that got leaked at that time. But in the end of the day, the nigga sold no less records. He even sold more records. Drake has gone on to be way more successful than what he was at the time when he was under the first set of ghostwriting allegations. All right? Keep this in mind. And I'm just giving you the reality. I'm not here caping. I'm just giving you guys the reality of the matter. Before this whole Vory thing that's popped up today, this nigga had a whole hip-hop community that was like see i told you he wasn't the one we could never call him one of the greats he doesn't even write his own shit but those people in passing may listen to him the ones who make content they have to listen to him to keep up and know what they're talking about but as far as like just listeners audience members they're not part of drake's audience so it doesn't matter what they say it doesn't matter how much they don't like that he has ghostwriters because they're not listening to his shit and when they do they don't like it Okay, they don't like it because it's not. They don't like it because it's not good. 
They don't like it because of whatever preconceived things that they have in their mind of whatever they feel that real music should be. They're like, he's not it. So we don't even like him. So the people who are insulting Drake most of the time, and I'll say it again, don't listen to him. The people who do listen to him, they don't even, they didn't even know he had a beef with Kendrick Lamar. And if they did, it's because like somebody like, yo, did you know that that song that you're listening to right now is about Kendrick Lamar? And they're like, for real? Oh my God, cool. Anyhow, put on the Taylor Swift next. Like they don't care. Like I remember when the Views album came out and I had mixed feelings about it at the time. And I'm there driving and I stop at a light. Excuse me. I stop at a light. And right next to me, three white girls pull up at the light. And of all the Drake songs that I hear playing, I hear the one pop style. And they're like all singing in unison. Got so many chains, they call me Chain and Tatum. I said, oh my God. <sighs> the weakest bar on the whole album, in my opinion. Because I like that album, but I hated pop. I still don't like that song, Pop Style. Okay? But the weakest bar on the whole album, three white girls in unison, got so many chains, they call me Chain and Tatum, doing this. Like, they liked it. It works for them. Let me shut my old ass up. Okay? <laughs> like, the nigga's not he that that song wasn't for me. That song was for Kelly and Melissa and uh, I don't know. <sighs> Give me another white girl name. Brittany. That song wasn't for for me. That wasn't for Friday. That wasn't for Kofi. Your African ass name. Right? So it is what it is. I'm listen. I'm not happy with it, okay, gang? But <laughs> Ashley, perfect, right? Ashley. Ashley liked it, okay? Ashley doesn't care that Mob Ties is written by Vori. She doesn't know who Vori is. Maybe now, if her black boyfriend tells her, hey, you know that Drake, that song that you like, that, that song that we like, baby? That, that, there's a guy named Vori who wrote it. And she's like, Vori, who's that? And then she goes on her Spotify, and she's like, oh, I like Vori's music, too. There you go. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm going to leave this alone. Let's move away from the body. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.